My name is Aaron K. Lo. I'm the CEO of the Online Marketing Institute. The Institute is an e-learning platform for digital marketing. So we have hundreds of classes online for people to learn anything they want from how to get started on email to how to optimize for search engines and, of course, everything related to social media, mobile marketing, and all the latest trends. Okay. Uh, on what are exactly your advice for a small company to, to success online? I, I know you have a presentation just after this interview, so could you give, you, uh, give us uh, some tips, tricks, some secrets you have? Yeah, sure, as long as everybody can understand my English, yeah? Because uh, you need to excuse moi, je ne parle français. But then in the very clear English, I think for digital marketing, is like regular marketing, and everybody needs to remember first things first. You have to have a good value proposition that resonates with your customer. And that usually starts with actually really good content. So content marketing is a really good way for a small business to think about and frame their digital marketing. So if you have good content, you can socialize it on search engines. You can get it to Facebook. You can get it to Twitter. You can get it on LinkedIn. The problem most people have is they want to have a Facebook strategy, and it is a false thought because Facebook is just a distribution channel for your good content, for your products and services. So I think when you start with content first and then social media and how you actually use that content in those mediums is a much better thought process to start. And it always comes down for us overworked entrepreneurs, priorities. You've got to just prioritize what's most important, what's key, what's going to have an effect with your audience, not a, hey, let's just do everything because everybody's doing it and I'm reading about Twitter's IPO today and so I've got to be on Twitter. It's not why you've got to do it. You've got to focus on the customer and have good content and then distribute. And so you have to focus to know where the customers are and if they are on Facebook, on Facebook, you've got Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter, blog, and so on. And what exactly do you recommend for, for example, a startup like you? Is it coming to the meetings like this, to add some presentations, to yeah. distribute the calls and so on? Yeah, I think everything is about a mix. So um, the best relationships are in person, and then they get continued online. So it's really hard to make a deep personal relationship online. It happens. I mean, I've met some people on Facebook and Twitter, and I feel like I've known them for my life, yeah? But what you need to do is use those as ways to continue the conversation. So especially for existing repeat customers, get them in the flow of your communication. And remember, understand what they need. And most times they don't always need your product. They need to learn more about the industry you're in or the solutions overall. And then, of course, at the right time when it's right for them to buy your product, they will already be top of mind for you. So think about the customer and getting to know them more, and that takes some handshakes, and then accentuating through social media. Okay. Um, just after that, do you use a CRM, or do you add them to LinkedIn, or something like that? Ah, uh, yeah. Do follow-up system? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the things I do, and I'm lucky because I have a little bit of a staff, yeah? I come back and I put a stack of cards on the desk of one of our employees, his name is Chase, and I say, these are these, these are these, these are these, and we categorize them to people that are potentially good for content that we've talked about, they'd be good instructors, people that are good for just subscribing as individuals, and then teams that need to get trained that we do a lot of as well. He enters it into our CRM system. We also connect with them on LinkedIn, and then for some of the people we feel are really important to us, we will look them up on Twitter and follow them, and so we'll connect them all together so we can get a better sense of their profile and then be in their flow and then hopefully then be in our flow. Okay, and now coming back to your business, yeah. uh, I know that uh, you try to, to really make some uh, increase in your business and you are using affiliate systems. Or is it powerful? Is it help you a lot of much or not that much? Because uh, I know the web it's very hard to be seen, so the aim for you is to have the maximum uh, visibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I think um, for us, for the maximum visibility is to work with some good partners to get them excited about what we do. So, for example, bloggers like yourself, yes? <laughs> we work with people that are important once they understand what we do and our mission to educate people on digital marketing and how important that is to everybody. So we talk to other even vendors that have really good experts, yeah? And they say the same thing like we talked to uh, Tasty yesterday, yeah? They have a very good testing platform and they understand how important it is for people to learn how to do this and do it right for the whole industry to grow. So once we get that, then we have the people who have influence help get the word out. We can't do it ourselves. And so it's about making friends and having shared you know, opportunities from things like that. So yes, and we have affiliate programs. We do a lot of sharing of revenue and money as well. It's not just about exposure. So wherever there's money, you know, we are happy to share it as well. Um, do you have some figures about uh, the difference between the, uh, the U.S. market, the Brazilian market where you are, and um, what are the difference between all these companies, or is it everything, everybody, everywhere? No, oh, not everywhere is the same, that's for sure. <laughs> 
you, yeah, the nuance of the culture is very, very much built into, especially the social media side. Um, so, for example, in Brazil, in which I was there about two months ago, it is almost like LinkedIn when you connect with people on Facebook. So it's expected, it's comfortable. People aren't like, oh, that's my private, who are you? Da, 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 da. They don't, no. You just add them on Facebook and everybody says everything because they love being on there. They're very social culture and that permeates to Facebook, yeah? For example, when I'm here in Paris, I'm out with a friend and one of her friends likes one of our pictures. So I say, hey, you look fun and Sandrine says, you are cool and I add her. She says, who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Why? And so you, so maybe you need to be a little bit smarter about who you add and tell them a little bit more what you want, yeah? <laughs> And so the differences on how you communicate are important. Like I think here in France, too, LinkedIn's pretty easy to connect and people are pretty comfortable. Same in the States. So again, culturally, you gotta be thoughtful about what your message is. Um, but they do share one thing in common. Everybody is using these tools to further their business. It's just how you use it, how mass marketing you go versus individual one-to-one -one marketing is, and that will depend on the culture. Uh, one last question about uh, your trip in Paris or in France. Yeah. Uh, what exactly uh, the aim of this, uh, this tour? Yeah. What did you do? Uh, do you stay for one week or just a few days to, for the future? Yeah, yeah. So this is part of a, a trip I've been pulling through Europe. So I was in Dublin and London here. Oh. But this is the main, this is the main reason I'm in Europe. Um, one of the reasons is because we're partnering with Jeff here at uh, web to connect and we are launching All My Friends in a couple of months. So we are working with partners to get content and we're working on distribution as well. But we do have the entire site en français and we do have eh, maybe 20 classes from French instructors and then the hundreds in English. So we will make a big presence here in France, I promise you. French, uh, for Mostly social media, yeah. So Facebook, Twitter, yeah, LinkedIn, yeah, content marketing, and yeah, lots of, lots of good stuff already, yeah. Plenty for the French to enjoy. <laughs> and so, uh, what are the prices for your courses exactly? Ah, so we have a subscription model because we feel like the easier it is for people to afford the content, mm -hmm. the better it is. So it's about 30 euro a month to access all 300 some classes and we add like five. No limit? No limit. So we, and we add five to 10 new a week. So it's all updated yeah, as we go. Um, and then you can become certified. So that is about five to 600 euro to get a certification as well. But outside of that, we do some big team trainings where it's all about the customization, what they need, how we fit that into their programs and what their you know, makeup is. So for big brands or agencies, lots of work we do with those folks. So you have really two types of customers, the small business, uh, yeah. the guys which are independent, freelance and so on, yeah. and then there's a big corporate around yeah. Yeah. Eighty percent of our subscribers are small business owners. Actually, yeah, they are the CEOs, the founders, the presidents, the the people like me who are losing their hair because they start the small business. Yeah, but it's good because they can say, "I need to know this," and you can learn more in watching a twenty-minute video than you can reading twenty hours of blog content. Right? The blog content's great to set it up, but if you need to learn and see, "Oh, this is how I use Google Analytics and watch somebody do it," the learning is is much more repeatable. Okay. Uh, thank you for the interview. Sure. Uh, to see the website in uh, French, uh, what is the web address? Ah, you go to see there online marketing institute. Okay. Dot org, yeah, and then at the top there's a little drop down that has the flags, and I think you know what your flag looks like in France, yeah. and you will find it in French as well. Okay, thank you. Go, cool. thank you.